This is a video about creating a 2D wing in Ansys Fluent. First thing that we're going to do is hop on airfoiltools.com, um, go into the airfoil plotter, and we're actually going to plot an airfoil. In this particular case, we've got camber at 9%, position at 50%, the thickness at 12.5, and we can just leave that as is. You can see this is what it looks like plotted. We're going to send it to the airfoil plotter and then we can download the CSV file coordinates. We'll then open that up in Excel. Now in here, uh, in order to import it into SpaceClaim, we're just going to add an extra section, add ones all the way across. We're going to take this whole section into a, a text document. And at the very top, we're going to input polyline is equal to false. and then save it as a text file in whatever location that you've got. With the Ansys Workbench open, drag in a Fluent case, and we'll open up SpaceClaim. With SpaceClaim open, we'll then open up the file. Assemblies file. You'll see it comes straight in. First thing that we're going to do is using the sketching plane, we're just going to go in and create a line that's roughly a millimeter long. We're going to use the trim tool to trim off these edges. The shaft is going to be added so we've got good quality inflation around the trailing edge. And we'll go back to 3D mode, select everything and use the fill button. It's going to fill it in. In this particular case, <coughs> I'll select it and use a pull button and pull it out in both directions by 10 mil just so we've got a solid object. Selecting the body, we use the move tool, drag it onto here, and we'll just rotate it 180. Right. Now using the pull tool, we can scale the element up depending on how large it actually needs to be. We can use the measurement tool just to get a game of what the actual distance is. So in this particular case, I'm looking on the X, it's roughly 300 mil. In this particular case, we're just going to move this component up such that it's roughly 100 mil. from the x-axis and then we're going to sketch on that to create our domain. Holding the shift button on top of the origin you can see it references that component. Let's bring it out 1000 and bring it up another 1000. From there again we can set it to 1000 and we'll make the actual end length um, around 2500. What we'll also do is create our bodies of influence in this particular case. So we'll create a body directly around here and a second one around there as well. And then we can go back into 3D mode. We can use a combine tool to remove the solid object away from the surface. When we hide the solid, we can see that it's created here. Let's just suppress this. And we can rename this fluid. What we can do here as well <coughs> is split the body for name selections. 
so we can split it on an edge and we can split it around there what this will allow us to do is select the bottom section to be called lower top section to be called upper and this section to be called trailing edge which is TE we'll then call the section the inlet we've got our outlet ground and sky also call this BOI-1 BOI-2 and our whole component fluid now we should have enough name selections in order to set up our 2D mesh and then bring it over to Fluent we'll exit that Part two is going to be on fluent on meshing within ANSYS.